is bad. Don't let the ignorance de de destroy your life. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Don't let ignorance to deceive your life. Ignorance has destroyed so many lives and so many people. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you. I praise your name. Ignorance has destroyed so many lives. Therefore, when God has said something, you have to obey and follow the rules of God. Ignorance has made many people suffer and, 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 and miss good opportunity. Ignorance is the biggest weapon the enemy is using. He is using this ignorance to the world and deceive many people, not people who are illiterate, including the educated people. Not people who never went to school, including professors, doctors, lawyers, and engineers. They are so ignorant. They are like people who never went to school. Because once you think you don't, you don't, you don't follow the, the word of God, you are nothing to the, to the vocabulary of God. Because you can get, you can hold the whole world, but you miss the kingdom of God. What is the point of owning the whole world and you miss the kingdom of God? So, every evil wind a sign against me be arrested change direction and go back to your sender in the name of jesus every wind that will make me to be ignorant that will make me to be ignored the word of god you know when the wind blow it will blow you and bring a message and make you more worse to become so ignorant that you don't know you you just you start denying god many people they say there's no god many people they say what I don't believe in God. Who was that God? Jesus, God never have a wife. As if you know that God has, has never have a wife. Who told you that? Where did you get that message from? Why do you want to be so much ignorant? Because the wind, the evil wind has blown into your ears. And now that wind is preaching to you something else. Why can't you search? And you go take the Bible and search and find out if God is not there or if Jesus is not there. Why do you want to, to, to put words which you don't know? Why do you want to live such a life for sure? What kind of a life do you want to, to, are you living with? Where will you end? Where will you go at the end of your life? Then people say, when I die, that is all. That's, I've, I've gone. I, I, I don't see anything. That's all. There is life after the death. Jesus Christ is in heaven, which means there is heaven, and the heaven is there for all the people of God. Don't be ignorant and forget that the heaven is not there. The, this world has the honor. So ignorance is very dangerous weapon that one can use. So therefore, child of God, don't be ignored. Ignorance has made many, many, many people miss life or miserable in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We pray from the, the we read we read from the book of Ecclesiastes, ten verse eight. The Bible says, "He that dig dig at a pit shall fall into it, and the whole so ever break break and engage a serpent shall beat him." So once you 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 dig a dig, you will enter your own dig. Whatever you break, the first the enemy will get you. When you break the fence, the devil will, will get you because the deed you did is that you refuse to accept Jesus Christ as a personal savior. Now that is you. When you refuse, not your children, not your wife, not your mother, the, you, you yourself. So you will enter your own uh, uh, hell. You know there's hell and there's heaven. So because you have ignore, ignore now you have dig a dig for yourself. If your wife gets saved, she can go to heaven. If your children get saved, they can go to hell. But you who said that there is no heaven, you don't want to fall, you have dig a dig for yourself. You have you have break the gate and the serpent, the, the snake will beat you, which is the devil. The devil will help you and eat you and take you to hell fire. When you don't have a salvation of Jesus, you you are you are you are you are gate, you are you are you are, you are open. You are open to the devil. You don't have a fence. But once you have Jesus, Jesus will protect you. Jesus will have the fence on you. Yeah? So, and, and, and whatever you are doing, 
when you are arguing, saying bad words to God, saying that Jesus, Mary was the wife of Jesus, saying so bad words, and you are so ignorant, you are digging a pit for yourself, and you will enter in that dig you are, you are digging. Because those words you are using, it's the same words the enemy is going to use against you, and he will, he will drop 